Many people are stepping in front of the camera in video conferences for the first time thanks to the pandemic. But that doesn't mean professionalism goes out the door. You still need to appear professional and having a professional background for your video conferences is crucial. You can look as nice as a movie star on a call with a client, but if your background is cluttered with piles of clothes and unwashed plates, it will give your client or boss a bad impression of you. For video calls, spend as much time on your background as you do on your appearance. Hang on to the end of this video because I'm going to share five of the major key points to consider when setting up a professional background for video conference calls. Hi, I'm Jim Costa. I'm a full-time working photographer, video producer, video editor, and technology pro, but you can call me a dadographer. If you like what you see in this video, stick around to the end because I've got a couple of photography, video, filmmaking, and editing freebies, and even training courses I'll tell you about that will definitely help to improve your work and help grow your business through earned media exposure. Remember, I welcome all of your comments, questions, and more on all of my videos. Number one is, pick the best room you have access to for the call. Now, what do I mean by the best room here? Pick a room that isn't cluttered and won't be prone to interruptions during the call. It wouldn't be a good idea to have your video conference call in the laundry room if your spouse may suddenly come in needing to do the laundry. If you have a home office that's relatively quiet, Go for that. Consider setting up your own home office if you can. Number two, clean and remove any distractions. Ideally, all of our houses would always be sparkling clean. However, that isn't the case in the world that we live in. I have kids and pets, so trust me, it's a disaster all the time. So be sure to clean whatever room you decide to have your video conference in. You might think the clutter won't be in the shot, but you never know when you might need to move the camera. You don't have to make the room spotless, just clean enough to where it isn't distracting or noticeable. Also, be sure to remove anything inappropriate for your conference. While you might love the new Resident Evil video game, it probably isn't the best idea to have a poster of it hanging in the background during a job interview. Number three, customize your background. That same Resident Evil poster might work great as a background for your video conference if you're applying for a job as a game developer. That's why it's important to tailor your background to your personality and to your audience. While you might not think of the background as all that important, it really speaks a lot about who you are as a person. It's a visual representation of where and how you live your own personal space and in your life. It's a huge indicator of who you are on the inside. Think about what elements you want to be included in the frame. Then arrange those elements according to the rules of composition. Just make sure whatever you put in your background supports what you have to say and won't be a distraction. Number four is set up the lighting. It's very important you have good lighting during your call. You need to have enough light for both you and the background. To look professional during a call, you don't leave your background in pitch black. While it isn't a detriment to the call per se, going the extra mile and showing care for how your environment looks really will impress those watching. It will also make the shot just look a thousand times better because it won't look like you're sitting in some black void somewhere. A window can light up a room However, if you are in a large room or are calling at night, you will need artificial lighting of some sort. Soft, even lighting is best here. Avoid harsh lighting and too much light from behind you because you will look like a shadow villain in a movie and you'll actually be in shadows and silhouetted. You can always use the principles of three-point lighting as a starting point. And if you don't know what three-point lighting is, check out the description below for the video that I've done on three-point lighting, and it will show you how to make yourself look your best in your video conference calls. Number five is 
consider using a green screen. Many video conferencing platforms offer built-in green screen features. One popular software currently in use is Zoom. If you have a compatible computer or laptop, you can opt to have your background changed to a picture or video of your choosing in Zoom. If your computer or laptop is an older model, you can possibly still use this feature. However, you will have to have a physical green screen behind you to make it work. If you want more information about using a green screen during a video call, check out the video that I did on that subject. It will show you how to set up a green screen, how to properly light it, and if you're still not sure, or if you want to do this, I've also actually done a, a very thorough tutorial on Zoom, which also includes the virtual background features, and I'll link to that video in the description below as well. The background in your video calls is very important. In many ways, it's a visual representation of your work ethic and how you conduct yourself. Use these tips to keep backgrounds clean, professional, and most importantly, not too distracting. While this video focuses on the background of your video conferences, there are other things you actually do need to consider. Now, I've done a companion video on looking and sounding your best on your video and teleconference calls. Now, I'll put a link to that video in the description below as well. You can watch that video after you're done watching this one and learn even more ways to have successful telemeetings. My question of the day is, what software are you using for your virtual meetings? Leave a comment below and let us know. If you found the information in this video useful, I'd love to hear about it from you. If you liked it and want to see more videos like this, then follow my YouTube channel, Jim Costa Films. If you think what you saw was great, please do like it. If you have an opinion, feel free to comment below. If you know someone who could benefit from the info that I provided, please share the video. You can connect with me and my company, Jim Costa Films, on social media and online, on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, LinkedIn, and the web by searching for Jim Costa Films. In fact, I currently have over 4,400 videos on my YouTube channel, Jim Costa Films, so feel free to check out many of my other videos for great tips and suggestions. Thank you for sticking around this far. I mentioned at the beginning about some freebies and training. As a professional video producer and photographer, I've created an absolutely free cheat sheet for you on all the best camera settings to shoot video as well as photos with your DSLR mirrorless and video camera that will show you the settings that will allow your photos and particularly your videos to shine and stand out from the competition. The link to get the cheat sheet is just below in the video description as well. Best of all, my cheat sheet specializes in shooting video with any type of camera. In it, you'll find all the info you need on important video techniques, such as white balance, color temperature, frame rates, and many more. I've also created an editing training for Adobe Premiere Pro. My quick start training is designed to get you up in editing video in under two hours and includes over 100 tips, tricks, and keyboard shortcuts for video editors. When you purchase the training, you even get a special freebie that includes over 100 keyboard shortcuts that work on both Mac and PC. Now, I'm also affiliated with Christina Nicholson, a fellow media veteran like myself who helps businesses and entrepreneurs reach tons of their ideal customers or clients through the power of media without spending big bucks on advertising. I've worked with Christina and used her advice and training successfully, so I know from first-hand experience that it works great. The program Christina and I are now offering is called the Media Mentoring Program, and it will help you to take advantage of mainstream media. You can stand out from the competition because Doing so is something that not everyone has access to. Best of all, unlike paid ads and sponsorships, you can gain lots of exposure and credibility to become the go-to brand that everyone talks about and wants to do business with without spending a fortune on advertising. I'll link to those cheat sheets and training courses in the description below as well. There's videos on both courses that will give you an overview of how they can help you and links to get more information on the programs if you're interested. 
Finally, if you follow me for a while now, you may know that I have an additional private community of photographers, videographers, and filmmakers, just like you on Facebook, where I share other pro tips and tricks. It's called Video Producers and Content Creators, and it's actually a separate private Facebook page from my business page, which is public. I love new members who want to share their work, learn from others, and also help others based on their own talents, skills, and experience. You'll find a link to that group in the description below, so feel free to join the group where you can learn even more.